2020 candidate Bernie Sanders appearing to turn to Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez to stem rival Joe Biden's surge in the polls. Sanders appearing with the New York Democrat at Howard University this week. And while Ocasio-Cortez, or AOC as she's called on social media, has not officially endorsed Bernie Sanders, she did take an apparent shot at Joe Biden during the event. I will be damned if the same politicians who refused to act then are going to try to come back today and say we need a middle of the, the middle of the road approach to save our lives that is too much for me the next day the former vice president fired back at ocasio cortez's criticism over lunch watch I've never been in the middle road on the environment. Look at my record. She'll find nobody has been more consistent about taking on the environment and the green revolution than I have. It's a long campaign, and uh, everybody should just calm, they should calm down a little bit. Power panel now. Jason Meister, Trump 2020 campaign advisory board member. Jay Jacobs, New York State Democratic chairman. So I would imagine you know AOC. Uh, Actually, I don't. You, you no, haven't met her. No, I have not met her. Uh, she knocked off a politically Joe Crowley, 10 terms. So I would think that that would be somebody you'd want to meet. Well, eventually I think we will meet. Uh, but she's been out there, you know, on Twitter and every place else. And uh, when she gets back here, we'll be happy to sit down and that meet with her. That feels like shade. No, no, that's no. it. Be happy to meet with her. All right. Very, very happy to meet with her. Uh, Republicans have to be looking at this as like dim on dim crime. Yeah, I think it's, this is expected. This is a big open race. There's a lot of candidates that are going to be beating each other up. I think Joe Biden's going to get bloodied at the end. Um, but I think this is a good move by Bernie Sanders to have AOC out there. He's a very old candidate. She's young. She's energetic. She's got a voice. But, you know, every time she opens her mouth, I think there's another Trump voter that gets born. Why? Um, she, I mean, she's just all over the map. She says crazy things. And so I think that, you know, you, you have to see the socialist, sort of this socialist aspect to her. But I think it's a wide open field. I think Biden has a lot of issues from a Ukraine perspective, from being the second in command under the that oversaw the biggest political scandal in American history. So I think that there's real there's a lot of movement there. Uh Jay, when you look at the voice and impact that she's been able to make in a very short period of time, you cannot deny that. I mean, AOC gets crowds to come out. AOC is big on Twitter. She does get crowds to come out. She represents the far left wing of the party, which is only about a quarter of the party, if that. That's a lot that, of people considering the fact that people we, don't vote. Well, a lot. Of, well, no. And the numbers that they should. Look, the fact of the matter is the Republican Party and Donald Trump want to make it seem like AOC represents the Democratic Party and the far left does. That's not true. The moderates well, represent the Well, then why the is party. Bernie leaning on her? I mean, well, I know that they have a history together why, and she was one of his protégés. Look at Biden's numbers. But you numbers. can pick anybody on the planet and you pick her. So she's got to bring something. Well, because they're birds of a feather. They're both of the same thinking philosophically. Do you and, think Bernie Sanders could win this time around? No. The primary? No. I don't. The, the rules have changed in a way. Well, the rules were stacked against him last time. No, they were not. The rules were fair the last time. That was a lot of nonsense. And I was on the DNC and I'm on the DNC and I know it, that it was nonsense. There it's was not no nonsense. Such, yeah. It was rigged against him. And I think what's interesting about How this. How was it rigged? Let, let, me, let, me just, let me just make my point. Yeah. I think what you have right now in Joe Biden is a lot of similarity to Hillary Clinton in the corruption sort of aspect. There is. I mean, you have this Ukraine issue that's being that's being exposed. He made his money and off of government influence like Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. And you have to you have to recognize that. I think at the end of this, I wouldn't discount other candidates like an Elizabeth Warren, who's sort of aired a lot of her dirty laundry. I don't think that Joe Biden is a very strong candidate going into the election. I think you have to really reconsider what's which candidate you're going to put out in the front. I'll give you a last word. Well, if Joe Biden is, is a weak candidate, then Trump is a goner. Because the fact of the matter is, when He's you talk incumbent. about... When History you, would say that's not when, true. When you talk about corruption, if you would, okay, and you bring up Clintons and you bring up Biden, I think you're doing a disservice. I know all of them. I know both, both of the Clintons, and I know them well. And I take offense to it. And I'll also tell you this. Joe Biden is among the most decent individuals we've got in American politics and have had. He's got a phenomenal record on the issues. He's done a tremendous job. He's going to represent this party well if he is our nominee. And I'd be proud to stand with him any day. Jason, thank you. I think there's a lot of investigations that have to occur oh. before we make those decisions. All right. Jay and Jason, always fun to have you both on the program at the same time. Great for having it. us.